guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and today I am reviewing the Flower Beauty Dream Warrior. This is a weightless volume and lift mascara and oh my gosh it is a windy one today. We are having 35 mile per hour winds so if you hear the windows rattling sorry about that but let's get into this mascara review. Okay, you guys, so we are reviewing the Flower Beauty Dream Warrior Volumizing Mascara, and this is supposed to have a cloud boost technology. Now, I have no idea what cloud boost technology is, but I do review mascaras almost every Monday, so I am going to go ahead and review what I know about this, and you guys can tell me if that is the cloud boost technology or not. I don't know. But this is made in Italy, if you guys are curious about that. Some people are, some people aren't. But I'm just letting you know if you are one of them. And this is what the brush and the bottle look like. It's a very pretty, like, lavender periwinkle. Lavender? I'm going to go for lavender because on camera it's looking really lavender. Um, I, I like the tube is what I'm trying to say. The brush on this is very interesting in that it does have um, a lot of space between the bristles. Now most cone shaped brushes like this do have a lot of bristles on it, but this one has a lot of space between it, which I actually like because as you turn it, it does tend to comb through your lashes. So when I first applied this, I thought this didn't do anything. I combed through my lashes quite a few times and for some reason it just didn't do anything to my lashes. So I, I dipped the brush back in and went to the other side and the other side it looked freaking fantastic. Okay, so I went back to this side and tried it again and I figured out what I was doing with this side was turning it and this side I wasn't. So keep that in mind. You might want to go ahead and turn it because if you're just using one side because there's not a lot of bristles, you're not going to be getting a lot of product on your lashes unless you actually turn it. Now, having said that, I love the way this looks. This gives me very fluttery, very volumizing. Uh, it, 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 it's just a very pretty mascara. So I do like the way this looks. And now for the cry test, if you guys are new here, the cry test I do with all natural wetting drops and I put them in my eyes and see if the mascara flakes, smudges, or you know, otherwise is water resistant and or waterproof. This one does smudge. And not only does it smudge, when it gets wet, it does clump your lashes together. So this is not a pretty mascara if you have very um, watery eyes. I ride a bike everywhere. I have a very active lifestyle. And I will say with the wind, as windy as it has been here, I have not had any problems with this mascara like smudging underneath my eyes while I'm riding my bike with the wind and the tears and everything else. So you do have to get it quite a bit wet for it to start that, but once it starts, it's not a very pretty mascara. Longevity, this goes a good 14 hours without flaking on me, which again is very good for an active lifestyle if you do have it. However, around that 14 hour mark, it does start flaking. And it's just small flakes that you can like wipe away, but I will say the flaking does tend to be just a hair bit, hair bit annoying. Um, especially if you're out and about and you have to like keep wiping away at it. But all in all, this is a very good mascara. I don't think this will be on a current rotation for me just because of the waterproof factor, especially as it gets warmer outside and you're sweating, this is definitely going to be one that you're probably going to have some issues with transferring or and or smudging. Now the cloud boost technology like uplifted lashes, I actually have naturally curly lashes to start with. So when I put this on, I do not actually see it like lifting my lashes. And I'm not entirely sure what they're talking about when they're talking about the Cloud Boost technology. I would think that that means that it would like, you know, like curl them, lift them, like make them go up higher here. But 
For that, the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara that I just reviewed, um, that one, like, my lashes would touch all the way up here. It really did curl, it really did lengthen, it really did lift them. This, I do not see that with. So that is going to be my quick review on the Flower Beauty Dream Warrior Mascara. Let me know if you guys have tried this one down below. I did have a little bit of a problem, like, trying to find this. I know Flower Beauty is still in CVS, but my CVS around me does not carry this. I had to actually order it from Ulta, which I didn't want to do. I've been trying to buy things in store as opposed to ordering it online, but that's a whole nother story. So this was a little bit harder to get a hold of, but let me know if you have tried it and let me know what you think of it down in the comments below. And if you like this kind of content, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And while you're at it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up because hey, it doesn't hurt you and it helps me out. So why not, right? Well, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.